Hi everyone, welcome in this new video. I'm ADCS of Xworks and uh, today uh, we're in front of uh, something that uh, you don't see very often nowadays and uh, this is a floppy drive, 3.5 inch floppy drive adapted onto a 5.25 inch uh, uh, bay. You can see it has the uh, floppy interface, floppy disk drive interface and uh, a connector for power supply and uh, this is the motor, the stepper motor for uh, uh, moving the um, uh, reader write head onto the disc itself so what I'm gonna do with this? well it's uh, not something that I show very very often on this channel uh, on this channel I talk about printers and uh, uh, well generally printers and uh, a few other stuff, but uh, I really love uh, vintage uh, technology, vintage computers, and uh, as you can see, as a proof of that, I'm using an IBM enhanced keyboard as my main keyboard for my computer. So, yeah. Aside of the fact that uh, uh, the IBM enhanced keyboard or the IBM model and keyboard is the best keyboard ever and uh, nothing can compare even nowadays, but uh, aside of this, um, I really love vintage technology. So um, I have really plenty of uh, floppy disk drives actually, and uh, a few are even uh, five and a quarter disk drives, but um, here is uh, a 3.5 disk drive and uh, what I'm gonna do with this today well mm, in all these uh, years uh, when I wanted to manage files on a floppy disk or so copy files over a floppy disk or copy from a floppy disk or doing everything I want on a floppy disk my choices have been two so the first is to use a USB floppy drive because my computer it's pretty new so it does not have a floppy disk drive uh, connector on the mainboard obviously and uh, you cannot find any PCI Express uh, compatible uh, cards uh, that will uh, uh, give you an output to the floppy disk drive interface so my choices are USB floppy drive or uh, even uh, uh, copying some files onto a USB stick then uh, uh, to take a computer from uh, 98 to 2002 or 3 I think uh, that actually has a USB port and a floppy disk drive and uh, I have a um, Toshiba laptop that uh, uh, served this purpose in uh, all these years actually and uh, I can manage files from that. But uh, mm, there are two main reasons why uh, these two options are not so great. So, about the USB floppy drive, they are not so reliable. Uh, sometimes I got some uh, read or write error and uh, errors that I don't get on uh, um, floppy disk drives like this, so um, I don't know, but uh, in some cases I had problems uh, and uh, I'm referring to three different units, so yes, and uh, also all those uh, uh, floppy drives are not compatible with uh, uh, 720 kilobytes uh, floppy disks, so the double density, not the high density floppies, so um, my choice was only to copy f files onto a USB stick, then uh, copy those files on the laptop, then transfer them from the laptop to the floppy disk, and that was a very long thing to do, um, very long procedure, and uh, uh, yeah, you you can spend a very long time doing this. So. I looked around on the internet for ages uh, looking for some kind of adapter even if uh, it's uh, PCI Express or USB or uh, any other uh, connector or adapter to adapt uh, this port onto another more common nowadays ports and I couldn't find 
anything, really anything. But, but I did in the last months, I got uh, uh, this board that I have to uh, soon uh, enclose into a um, uh, case because uh, I really don't think this is a, a very durable uh, connector for power at least so um, yeah I, I would like to create a case for this board and this is a, a really fantastic board because uh, you can see I can just uh, take this board onto the floppy disk connector like so and then connect the power cable on the floppy disk connector here and then I can connect this by USB and it will work and I can even take this and connect it to um, a smartphone if I want and this doesn't make any sense but uh, uh, you can actually do that but um, this um, needs uh, a pretty high amount of power so I, I'm not sure that uh, you will be able to use it on a smartphone, I'm not 100% sure. And also, um, you could run into some problems with uh, um, the USB uh, controller into the phone, so I'm not recommending this. So um, now I will connect this to my computer, uh, Windows 10 Pro 64 bits, and uh, I will show you how it goes. Okay, so I needed to use a USB extension because the cable of this board is uh, very, very short. So I will connect this uh, USB cable now. So 3, 2, 1. And the computer just recognized the floppy drive. So now we can try to load a uh, uh, floppy disk this is very old actually this is um, HP Super VGA Utilities and Drivers for HP Vectra PCs and I actually have an HP Vectra 486 VL so let's try this okay now we'll just uh, open on the PC Okay, and uh, as you can actually see, Windows has just uh, uh, opened the drive and uh, revealed uh, all the data that is inside the disk. And actually it's dated around uh, 1991 and 1992. Yeah, I think this is the Vectra generation with uh, the 386 CPU. And uh, my Vectra has uh, a 486, but uh, yeah. So we can try every type of floppy disk. So I actually don't have, uh, actually, so I have, but uh, none here, uh, some floppies that are um, double density, but uh, I'm not going to try them now. Uh, all I can say is that uh, they work for me with absolutely no problem. And... Uh, I just want to do something else with this uh, board and um, I'm not recommending this so I, I don't uh, uh, think this will work but I will try and uh, uh, so this thing is to adapt this board to a uh, five and a quarter inch uh, floppy drives and uh, I don't think this is possible because uh, um, actually Mm. Aside of the fact that uh, mm, they use uh, the same uh, cable, they are not the same connector, and uh, also mm, this chipset uh, uh, should be locked on just uh, the three and uh, the three point five inch uh, floppy disk drives. So I really don't think this will work, but I give it a try. So yes. 
and also the other um, floppy disks as I know and also the other floppy disk drives as I know uh, they don't work only with the 5 volt rail but they need also the 12 volt rail so I'm not sure entirely of this but uh, I'm pretty sure about that so yeah so something that uh, I mm, I don't like them really about this board is that uh, they um, deleted all the scripts on this chip so if in case the seller will not sell these boards in the future and I want actually to replicate this design and these boards I will not be able to do that because I don't know what that chip is so um yeah that is not a so good thing I asked the seller if uh, he can give me some uh, uh, information about uh, uh, this uh, this chip but uh, he, he won't obviously so um, it's not the best thing in the world but uh, of course you can buy more of them just uh, if uh, one of these breaks uh, you can have a, a spare and um, this is everything. So I will leave into the video description uh, a link to the AliExpress page of this board. If you want to buy this board, I think it's around 9.9 uh, .9 euros the last time I checked. So it should be around uh, 11 point something USD. So, But anyway, on AliExpress you can you can pay with uh, uh, your currency, of course, so it shouldn't be a problem at all. So, I hope you liked this uh, pretty different video, uh, well, different from uh, uh, the other videos that I do. So, thank you once again, I hope to see you in the next video. If you liked this video, hit the like button and uh, even subscribe if you want more in the future. So, thank you once again and bye.